My name is Christina Stepping. I'm the Environmental Literacy Coordinator for the San Joaquin County Office of Education, and I help oversee the Classroom Aquarium Education Program in our county. Classroom Aquarium Education Program is ran by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. They oversee the permitting as well as raising the fish here at the hatchery. And they also help us run the new teacher training for educators that are enrolling in the program each year. The salmon team consists of San Joaquin County Office of Education, City of Lodi, City of Stockton, Public Works in the county, and we all help oversee the salmon program. Students get salmon eggs in January and they get to keep them in their classroom for a couple months and then they uh, get an opportunity to come to the McCallamy River and release their fish. I love the idea of bringing something hands-on into the classroom and something that connects back to the real world for kids. And that's what this program does. They get to see eggs from the beginning of fertilization all the way until they're ready to be released back out into the river. Swim downstream, Mr. Today we put different types of pollution or things that could affect the water into little sample tubs. And I learned that like, there's a lot of things that can go in water, like things I didn't even think of. And just doing this activity made me think more about the watersheds. And we're learning about the salmons, but we also need to learn about how to keep the environment clean that they live in. Because if their environment's not clean, then they won't be able to thrive. It was fun raising the salmon. And if I got to do it again, I would totally do it. So it was just nice to see them, a few little eggs, and like start swimming in the tank. So I am a teacher for Lathrop High School for Manteca Unified, and I teach Careers with Children. It's a CTE class that's a capstone for our education pathway. The primary goal of the program is to educate them on how to become a teacher, to discover whether they want to work with kids. But in addition to that, I like to give them more experiences. And my high school students have partnered with SJCOE to raise salmon in our classroom, but they also were trained on how to manage all the stations that we have with us today. And so they are the leaders of the field trip. So our station is only the strong survive. It's basically like the salmon life cycle. It shows the obstacles that the salmon eggs go to to hatch. The goal is for the kids to try to hit their friends in the legs. It relates to how the salmon eggs go through different obstacles to make it to the end. I was amazed at how much stuff was here and it looked really cool. The first thing I saw was the fish over there. It was really amazing and I was like really excited. My stomach was turning because when I would just throw a little bit in there, they would all just splash up. I really love seeing the kids' reactions to things. Like when they were doing the salmon smelling station, they were smelling different cups of different things and trying to match it to what the water was supposed to smell like. And some of them were like, it smells like lemonade. It smells like cupcakes. It smells like ice cream. And their reactions are always really funny to me. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. I haven't had my first group yet, but just seeing like the other groups, it looks like they're already having a great time and the day's just begun. They're all, they all sound curious and yeah, they just sound excited. That makes me excited. We use the salmon cycle as a way for kids to understand how our impact as humans have on other fish, especially with salmon being in our local backgrounds. It makes a big difference for the kids because it's the authenticity that not all animals are in Africa or in these other places that we talk about. They're locally in our backyards and the impact that our cities and even as us as people have that effect on them. So I really want them to understand we as humans, as people, can make a big difference to what our environment is. The kids live in a world that they need to be part of, and so it shouldn't just be coming into the classroom and reading worksheets and doing static type things. It should be them learning about the world they live in and participating in the world they live in so that as they go forth into the world, as they become adults, they're smart about the way that they work, they're good stewards of the earth, and they understand the way that the world works around them.